So in my last video, I've shown how to turn some After Effects presets into MoCuts. Link in the corner if you've missed that one. In this video, I'll focus on some quick way of using MoCuts in Premiere Pro. Let me just start by creating a sequence. Now you should see your Essential Graphics panel. My one is on the side. If not, you can go up to the top and find Window and just check Essential Graphics panel. Let me just get away in the timeline to quickly show you how it works. Any of this will do. When it's first brought in the timeline, it may take some time to load MoGit, depending on the size and complexity. So I've got this template loaded. If I highlight it in the timeline, on the size panel, under edit, you can see what edge builds you can change. Most often, you can change the text and colors, etc. Let me just change the text for this one. It should be reflected live in this window as well. And next, let me quickly show you how to load and import MoGuts. I think it's quite different to how you load footage in Premiere Pro. So under Browse, you see this little funnel thing. When your mouse is on it, it says Toggle Locations. This is where your MoGuts are stored. Select Library under Local Template and right-click Reveal and Explore or Reveal and Finder if you're on a Mac. Then you'll be sent to this local directory. You can see it's under my Adobe's default MoGuts folder. So should be yours. To add a folder, you can just click this little plus icon and select the folder where you have your MoGuts. You could add multiple folders in here. Say for example, one for text animation and one for background. And once you've imported them, you can check and uncheck each folder. You can hide the folders that you don't often use. You can also rename and remove these folders by right clicking it. When you've selected a MoGuit, the corresponding folder will be highlighted as well. So if you want to see where a particular MoGuit is, just select it and then find the highlighted folder and reveal the location. You can also bring in MoGuits by directly dragging one into this panel. It may ask you if you want to overwrite the original one if you already have a copy in it. Or you could also click this plus sign at the bottom right to import a MoGuit. Finally, when you right click on the MoGuit, you can see different options. I would not recommend clicking the delete button here, as this will delete the MoGuit on your hard drive and there's no way to restore it. So don't delete things from this menu unless you're 100% sure. To use MoGuit, you can just drag one onto the timeline. With this video, I've mixed some more MoGuits, download the link below. I'll just quickly show you how to create something by combining different ones. Mind you, these MoGuits are really simple and they're exported straight from After Effects presets. So they're not something that's massively creative. One of the MoGuits I've put in this download folder is this anime background. If you put this on your timeline, then put some text in the middle, change the font, and maybe increase the size of the background a little, and keyframe some scale of this anime background. By combining these two MoGuits, you get something like this. And also there's another fog light background. I can play some text on top, change the blending mode, then change the scale on both layers. This becomes a dramatic text reveal with some interesting background. Say for example, I'm working on a text presentation and there are three points I want to reveal. I will use this slight MoGuit, change the text. This would be my point one. Obviously you could change it to whatever you like then place on the side. Once you've got one layer set up, I can duplicate another two layers, put them on top and offset them by a fraction. Then I'll have some very simple text animation without adding any keyframes. This text animation only happens in the beginning of the layer. But say if I want to have other animation two seconds in, I can just bring in another MoGuit in the timeline, copy the position attributes from the layer before and paste it across. Because they were set to the same coordinates in After Effects, they will transition into new animations seamlessly. So really, there are so many ways to use MoGuits. Finally, if you want to replace MoGuits but you would like to keep it where it is and you want to keep the attributes of change, just hold down Alt or Option on the Mac and drag it over to the one you want to replace with. I think there's just so many possibilities with MoGuit. 
In the upcoming Mocha series, I'll keep putting out Mochas from After Effects preset, as well as some original Mochas for Premiere Pro users. If you don't want to miss them, please make sure to subscribe and look out for future updates. That's all about today's quick Mocha video. Until next time, happy editing.